Our school used to post teachers' classes on campus, but the U.S. being the U.S., we have to stay home this year. So to generate a list of classes for teachers yourself, open up Inspect Element. You can do that from the Chrome menu or right-click Inspect Element. More tools, Developer Tools. And then the Console tab here, paste in this code. And that will load in a script that will um, go through a bunch of periods that your school offers. It uses your schedule, so we can observe the network tab. And you can see that it's making a bunch of requests. So you shouldn't run this very often. And you can see some errors here. You can ignore them because the way it gets your classes, the teacher's classes, is that. So here is a course page. You can see here the section ID. If, you, if I add one to it, you can see that it's a different um, feature and period here, even though I don't have this class. And so I, you can just keep incrementing or decrementing the ID here to brute force get all of the classes that your school has. And so what my script does, it just, it just, just does that until um, it stops finding successful um, periods. So while it continues loading, you can look at the source. So here it first loads uh, another JavaScript file. And this one, this just finds a bunch of helper functions. So this one gets a section by making a fret, uh, get request to uh, Infinite Campus's API. And then after that, there's also another one that keeps fetching sections or like classes starting from an ID. And this one goes backwards, decrementing the ID. And this one just starts from a random section ID that it knows exists by getting your schedule, getting the first period's ID, and then going backwards from it, and then going forwards from the ID. So it gets all of the IDs that uh, exist for your school. And once it's done, it alerts everything. And then here you can see that um, all the teachers' classes are here. So you can click the Copy button here and paste that into Notepad or something. Paste. Ta-da. So you could save this as a file. So let's look back at the script. So here it, um, I think this just, just makes it legible. So this actually fetches all the sections that exist. And then this script just makes it, uh, presents it in a more readable format. Thanks.